I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the sequence of events in an enzyme-controlled reaction. Okay, so just to review, an enzyme is a protein that acts as a catalyst. And so let's say we have our reactants, we want to go to our products, there's always going to be an activation energy. And so we can lower the activation energy by creating a different pathway of making this reaction happen. And that lowers the activation energy enough. This is what the enzyme does. It creates a new pathway so that this hump isn't as high. And then you have a faster reaction. And so you're able to continue life as you know it. All right, so what's the sequence of events for this happening? Well, without the enzyme, if you just have A plus B goes to C, then uh, basically you're on your own waiting for uh, A and B to knock together to form C. Uh, and so that may happen quickly, it might happen very slowly. Now with the enzyme, you're going to have a large, comparatively large protein we're just going to draw it like this because it's easy to draw, um, but in reality it has a very complex 3D shape. Okay, so now let's say that we have A is actually this circle. And let's say B looks like this little triangle. And then C ends up being a circle with a triangle on it. Okay, so let's say that this way this enzyme works is that it actually has a bunch of B inside of it or it's able to get it from some other place. And so uh, the first step would be that you have A uh, entering into the enzyme or substrate binding. And so the next step is that you'll have A actually in here, and it will start to have a chemical change. And so after that's like that, eventually you'll create a C. And after you've created your chemical reaction, the last step will be completely releasing your new product. So in total, we created three basic steps, and that was enzyme substrate binding, the chemical reaction, and substrate release. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What are the Steps on the Pathway of an Enzyme Reaction?